Hey everyone, it's Cass. I'm here today with a really quick unboxing. I ordered a pen, or pre-ordered a pen, we'll say, from Pen Boutique, and it got here this afternoon, and I wanted to show you guys, uh, and we can open it together, because it's a new pen. It's gonna be exciting. <laughs> so um, I did open it. I have not rifled through it yet, so let me pull out the packing slip. It has my personal information on it. Okay, so here we go. Oh, we have some Jolly Ranchers. Okay, ooh, it came with a free pen sleeve. Uh, so I ordered the Lamy Safari in cream. It's called the Cozy Cream. I have been really into ivory lately. Um, I got my Pilot Prera uh, last year. So late last year, I believe. And I love this pen. I love the color. So I've really been into ivory. And when they first announced the cream, I wasn't too interested. But then I became interested later on. So here's the sleeve it comes with. I don't know if I'll actually use this. Let's see if... I mean, yeah. It fits. Okay. I don't really like having my pens exposed, but that's what the sleeve looks like. Um, I believe most places are offering this free with a pen uh, while supplies last. Okay, we come to the actual exciting part. I'm interested to see what shade of cream this is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's dirty. Hold on, let me clean this off. Let me run my shirt through the clip. All right, so well, we know that this pen gets really dirty. Or if there's lint or something on it, it's very noticeable. Yeah. See the lint? Oh, well. Anyway, so yeah. It is warm in tone, definitely. like a warm ivory. I ordered the extra fine nib, of course. Ooh, yes, these are always really sharp. I, I think I'll go ahead and ink it up. I really, really like the color of this. Um, here it is compared to the Pilot Pereira. So the Prera is a little cooler in tone. The, the Lamy is definitely a little warmer. I really like this. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What happened here? Okay, let me pull out the converter. I have a Lamy Safari sitting off to the side without inking it. Okay, so let's fill this up. Let's pull the nib. Ooh, I think this will be a wet nib. There's a gap in the tines at the tip. Uh, let's put, let's put a brown ink in here. Let's put chaw brown. I've been really liking that ink. So I'm gonna put um, Tatcha chaw brown in here. I don't have any clean syringes, which is why I'm doing it this way. I don't typically fill a uh, converter this way. Oh 
a notebook. Uh, this is Cosmo Air Light paper. Made pro oh, it's already primed. Okay, that was fast. I always like the Lamy to be on the nib, actually. Let me redo that. I'm like really anal about that. Okay, that's better. Ooh, this is really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. Uh, let's zoom. Zoom in a little more, actually, if we can. Okay, sorry for all the shaking. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Mm, yes. It is a little feedbacky, but it is smooth. I'm not getting any scratchiness. Some feedback, but no scratchiness. That's good. There's the Tatcha Cha Brown. Oh, oh yes. So I'm happy with this nib. I'm, I'm very picky with my nibs. I usually have to tune them some way. I may end up tuning this one, but for now it's okay. This is Cosmo Air Light. Awesome. Yeah, you can see little specks of like dust and dust in there. Since this is so light, that's going to be really noticeable. Um, I, I mean, I don't really mind. I think, I guess that just comes with the pen being light and like a matte finish. So it might hold on to the little pieces of dust or lint more. But yeah, this is really nice. I like this pen or I like the color anyway, quite a bit. I mean, I like Lamy Safaris too. I haven't really used one consistently for a while but I really liked this color and I thought I would give it a go and I really like it let's see how much I use it all right so thank you for watching I will see you guys next time bye